Uh, okay, so yes, first, uh, thank you for your mm -hmm. wonderful session. So again, and as you did say, it was a wonderful perspective. So uh, first, before uh, we proceed, I want to clear, make one thing clear, which is I'm completely against animal cruelty. Mm. True. But I find veganism to be, again, this is my opinion, I find it to be a little hypocritic. Mm -hmm. The reason is, as my friend did mention, you talk about how we affect or we kind of kill, murder, animals but at the same time we modify and do the same things that we do to animals to the plants mm -hmm. we, and i completely disagree with the fact that uh, plants do not have cognitive abilities for example automatically we have seen i mean uh, fa famous scientist jagdish chandra bose an indian scientist he did prove the point that animals do have feelings animals do have every ability I think that you mean plants you mean plants i'm sorry have. sorry plants do have every ability one correction if i may jagdish chandra bose proved that plants have life he did not prove they have feelings he did he did actually but anyway uh, my question actually goes here which is one of the experiments he conducted was automatically that the plants could turn towards the sun which means they do have cognitive abilities they need sun so they turn towards it it may not go exactly with what we need and you did mention about one point about exploiting life mm. uh, i want to ask one question is it exploiting life or you are against exploiting animals exploiting of sentient beings so therefore humans and animals both so is again isn't that kind of being a kind of hypocritic? But again, I couldn't find oh, the better okay, word. Okay, I'll say. Uh, let me complete the sure, question. Sure. Sorry, sir. Uh, the question is, we try, we take plants, we just take out the, we create an alternative where they don't, they are not able to reproduce, which is basically we find seedless fruits, seedless uh, watermelons, seedless grapes, and so on. That is basically taking out their way to reproduce. Next, we have alternatives where they automatically make sure that the other animals which prey on them or the natural way of habitat which is uh, the uh, political which is the worms the uh, birds which feed on them do not come near them so again i think this is in a way is telling that uh, plants we don't care about it animals if you hurt it we care about it because i have never heard a term called as plant activists ever existing but instead i have heard of animal activists again i'm saying it's well and good but my question is, it's kind of like a hypocrisy. It's not like you are, uh, we are not talking about dude, 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 you have life. to ask a question in one simple and, line. Uh, it's actually about exploiting. Okay, can I now respond to that? Yes. So here's my point right now. Let's just say everything you say is right. Everything you say is true right now. And you mentioned this clearly after a lecture about veganism. After I spoke about cruelty happening in the meat dairy egg industry, so I showed the videos and I spoke about them in detail. So is it all right of me to infer from your statement right now that you are trying to convey that hurting an animal and hurting a plant is absolutely no different. Can I infer that from your statement? Yes, exactly. Okay, fine. So now that I infer that, then I'm asking you, by that same logic, if I say that we, whatever you said that we do to plants, we do and harm them, and now I take a knife and I stab a human, would that be an immoral thing to do? Exactly, same thing, hurting is wrong. No, no, as in no, as in me killing a human is now immoral, because, okay, then doesn't that mean that killing animals is also immoral? Exactly. So, but then why are you bringing up the point of plants right now? What is the point? Because that's a food chain. No. Food chain exists because No, 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 no not food chain. Right? You said, right, as I asked you, I'm inferring that, you are saying plant suffering and animal suffering is equal, right? Yes. So, uh, what I'm meaning right now is, so if right now a person is being beaten up on the road and right now someone is chopping, chopping an apple over here, both are the same, you're saying? Okay, what I'm trying to say is, the food chain exists because it is how no, the no, world not is food supposed chain. to be. We'll finish that point first. You've made this, you said that animal suffering and plant suffering is the same. Human beings or mammals that fall into the animal kingdom. Okay. Fair enough? Okay. So therefore, I'm saying beating up a human being, any terrorist activity, anything is equal to me chopping up an apple. Is that true or false? Yes, yes it, or no? It differs in circumstances. Let me say a person who's being killed is actually an enemy or a terrorist and the, that is the last Why apple circumstance? Wait, wait, wait. How come humans are given circumstances but animals are not? Animals are innocent. What did they do? How come humans alone are given circumstances but animals cannot be? Okay, my question is... How, how do you actually differentiate when you actually differentiate where uh, animals is hurting animals? The is same way you differentiate between humans and plants. Because think of it this way, if I had now given a lecture about child's rights, I spoke against kidnapping, child molestation, everything, would you have stood up there and told me that plants feel pain? Sorry? If I had given a speech today against, about child, children's rights, against child molestation and children kidnapping and you know, genital mutilation and everything, yes. would you have stood up there and told me that plants feel pain? Yes. You, so you're telling me, wait, 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 one I mean, second, one second, one second, one second. Uh, you're telling that if you showed about child molestations and... And mu genital mutilations and all these things, okay. I showed you, I, I did a lecture you're about asking that. asking if they are same. No, obviously. You are not the same. Things. Would you have stood up here and asked me whether plants feel pain or uh, what's my opinion on plants on, in, during such a lecture? Would you go to any human rights rally and tell them there that, hey, plants also feel pain? No, my question is you are talking that 
animals instead of hurting animals the alternative is plants wait 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 but, but i know but, but i'm asking you though would you bring the simple yes or no no the answer is no right you would not yes obviously yes. not the, the, i'm telling you the reason you're bringing up here again basically speciesism because if i had even spoken about elephants or cats or dogs you would not have brought this up it's because we look at chickens cows and pigs and fish and turkeys in a different way than we look at other animals we are speciesist because we are raised in this society we do not even give these animals the basic value of being sentient we consider them the same as apples because trust me right now if you had ever been to a slaughterhouse and seen a pig screaming and being stabbed to death or having an apple chopped up it's not the same by any stretch and more importantly it's not about how i feel or how you feel it's about how the victims feel let's take both scenarios apple pig pig has a mind of its own pig feels pain the, the same way you and me can do you agree it's absolutely no different if i were being hit by a rod right now or you were being hit or a pig was being hit we would all suffer the same way same pain plant is not the same to us at all if you would not compare a human to a plant then it's very hypocritical to compare animals to plants because you are also an animal under the animal kingdom scientifically and biologically you're wrong for doing that it's okay i'm not convinced but yeah but do you agree but do you agree that you are an animal under the animal kingdom you're a mammal obviously yes. oh, no, no. you're comparing other mammals to plants but i'm going to compare yourself to a plant i'm saying that plant cannot be the alternative both should coexist i'm i'm you did talk about perfection right and no, perfection no, no. is perfection perf perfect vegan world or something similar to that ah, so I, what i personally okay, believe okay. is perfection is impossible it's ah, an ideal you're sense. right you're right okay by, by perfect vegan world i did not mean a world where no violence happens that's not what a vegan can do i meant a world where we no longer exploit farmed animals for food and clothing we no longer test our cosmetics on animals i meant a world like that basically we a world where we stop breeding animals into existence not a world where there's completely no cruelty i don't think i'm capable or a vegan world is capable of bringing that but like i said in the beginning 98% of all cruelty happening to animals right now on earth is happening in the meat dairy and egg industries by just removing that alone we end 98% of all cruelty on earth and one last statement if you want to know guys if you eat meat for anybody you are actually killing more plants because like i said you need to have feed plants to animals to make them fat and then kill and eat them a person who eats meat kills far more plants than a vegan ever would that's also a point to be taken into consideration okay math okay okay, okay. okay. okay.